Hi guys, my name is Lewis and I will be taking you with me on a quick tour of the Maya Exchange DevNet, which launched yesterday. We will be looking at how to access the DevNet, how to swap eGold for the new MEX tokens and add them to the liquidity pools. We will also be talking about farming so that you get the most out of the new Maya Exchange. Bear in mind though that this is only the development stage, which is why we will just briefly touch on the technicalities of swapping and adding tokens to the liquidity pools. We will be going into a lot more detail as soon as the Maya Exchange launches in another screencast, which will cover all these topics in depth. Now though, I will first show you how to get started testing. So to be able to try out the Maya Exchange, first you have to set up an Elrond DevNet wallet. Here you can decide if you want to set up a new DevNet wallet or if you want to use your real wallet instead. If you decide to use your real wallet, don't worry. The Maya Exchange DevNet runs on a separate blockchain, which means that even though your real address will appear on top of the screen, your mainnet holdings will remain untouched. But still, if you're not feeling comfortable using your real wallet, you can simply create a test wallet, which for the purposes of this video, is what I have already done, so let's access that. So I'm in my test wallet right now, and if you are already using a normal Elrond wallet, you will see that it doesn't look that different. The only thing is that the interface has been grayed out so that you don't accidentally mix up the test wallet with your real one. Even the options on the left hand side remain exactly the same, except for what is called the faucet. Here you can receive your 10 complimentary eagle tokens for you to experiment with. Simply hit request tokens and they will be added to your wallet immediately. Now that we have our test tokens, we can head over to the Maya Exchange DevNet. To do this, go to devnet.maya.exchange and connect your test wallet. Now we can have some fun. So let's try swapping our eagle for some max tokens to get started. In the swap tab, select the currencies you would like to swap. To demonstrate how to swap max tokens for eGold, let's put in two eGold. Check that you have selected your favorite amount of slippage and hit continue. You will get an overview over your swap, including the fee that will be deducted from your overall exchange before you can sign and submit. After your swap has been processed, you can open your overview to see the amount of tokens you have. Now that we have completed our first swap, it's time to add some eGold to the liquidity pool. To do that, head over to the liquidity tab and select the amount of tokens you want to add to the liquidity pool. In this case, let's stick to eGold. Let's put in two eGold to be wrapped into max so we can add it to the liquidity pool. Just like before, we get an overview of our exchange before we can add our password and sign the transaction. Now that you know the basics, it is up to you to explore the Maya Exchange DevNet. As long as the DevNet is up and running, you can head back to your test wallet every 24 hours to receive an additional 10 eGold, which you can then use to swap, delegate to the liquidity pool, or even stake your liquidity pool tokens to get even more rewards. If at any point during your testing you run into any issue, please report it using the official form shown here. This will help further improve the Maya exchange and ensure that there are no problems when it launches soon. If you have not yet checked out the Academy page on our website, you can also find additional information and explanatory tutorials as well as an extensive glossary here. We are constantly adding more content to help you navigate your way in the Elrond world. Also, feel free to follow us on Twitter, Facebook and LinkedIn to stay up to date. Until then. Have fun exploring and I will see you in the next video.